Hello YouTube, you guys are welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm GD Films, so if you are new to the channel, ensure you subscribe, you know, to the YouTube channel so that you can, you know, be getting good tutorials and videos like this. Do not leave unless you subscribe and ensure you watch the video to the end because I will be sharing a particular secret with us and I have a lot to give to us. So you need to know how to use it at the end of the video. So being a filmmaker that started with Premiere Pro, I was used to buying lots and they were never working you know when you it is just like what you ordered versus what you got you know that was how lots usually was for me until i started working on davinci Resolve. i can tell you that it changed my life completely i was always paying someone one hundred fifty thousand naira, 150 dollars even on fiverr just to get my video you know color graded if you have not seen that particular video i made on how to color grade videos ensure you tap here and as well check the link in the description i'm going to leave it where i explain grossly to people how to color correct and color grade videos so in this particular tutorial we'll be qualifying this particular lady skin and if you check that we have made our basic corrections already to the video so which i would not be starting all over if you miss the video go back to it there is a link in the description for that so now this particular video has been you know color corrected what we want to do now is to qualify our skin to make sure that our skin you know is popping as it should so let me leave all this effect back on and then so on this particular layer i'll be creating another layer add syria so which is going to be my node 5 uh, let me rearrange this color space transform and i should always tell you that you don't have to always follow my pattern even though i know this works better so this was for uh i would rename this label to uh color pop i use this to pop the color and this two node label was for my vignette all right so this is going to be So this is going to be for my skin so to qualify your skin to enhance the beauty of your skin this particular shot this particular footage i was the one that shot it so i have seen how this person looks like and i have seen you know i, I know how this person looks like in short so it is easier for me to grade so if you have a particular footage that you want me to work on you know i'm always open to help you to you know color great pictures so let us go so on this particular node which i am going to rename as a uh, screen qualify so i'm going to come here and then ensure this your node is on qualifier so then tap on where your skin is and then it automatically will select all your scene and use this particular button your highlight to see where you have highlighted so now don't be scared whenever you use your qualifier and you notice that it is picking other colors that are very close to the skin have you ever wondered even in in movies why they usually would use blue and they will use green screen for chroma for for movies for for scenes that they want the background to be replaced digitally it is because those two colors are not close to your skin they would never use red they would never use yellow you know as chroma they would never use any other color aside from blue and aside from green you know for green screen because there is no skin that has blue nor, nor green so that is why they usually so if you are trying to qualify your skin and you notice that it picks other colors is because those colors falls within the range of the skin as well let me turn off my highlight and let us analyze together this color of this woman's skin is very close to the same tungsten light that is right behind her which are the practical lights so if my skin if my qualifier picks them i don't think it should be a kind of harm as at all and if you want to add more places you know you could just i think we should do feather this is feather hard so use it to just add this extra scenes so it could really blend in because if i'm trying to use add directly might be picking just too much so which i'm not sure i'm not sure i want but let's try and see if we can work with it so you can use your recenter to fine tune how you want it to be you know whereby we'll just have only the skin then don't forget to always denoise always denoise whenever you have selected so that all the edges will not be too sharp 
you know and it doesn't look fake while you have worked on it so then my saturation is going to be reduced and then i can still fine tune this width it's falling it's picking green already which shouldn't yeah i think this is looking like what i want exactly all right so now having select having qualified where my skin is supposed to be if you are using davinci for the very first time so you're going to have to manually come and show your skin indicator your skin tone indicator usually even if it is on parade form vetoscope wherever it is your instagram ensure you come to vetoscope because that is where you will be able to make your correction so let's use this as color wheel for example you could see that yellow and red is in between you know this line that is why you need to come here and you know you have to check your skin indicator ensuring that it is on that is that is the first thing then to now do your color correction you have to ensure that this particular skin where your color is falls on this particular line if it does not fall on this line then something is wrong so now we will be qualifying this skin now as we work you can come here and clean your black so that black is not falling so much in your shorts then my blur radius as well so i can add it don't forget to always save whenever you're working so uh let me see okay i think i really like this frame so i'm going to come to my offsets so instead of working under your primary wheels come to your log ensure that your primary wheels is on your log and not you know on this first primary wheels come to your log your log wheels and then you will use offset to now work on your skin tone can you see the difference that i'm making can you see if i move it here so even if you shot wrongly or if the way you this is looking alien actually if this is if this was the way it was shot or lit on skin you can always correct it back are you seeing the transformation so I'm going to be resetting this so it can go back to default so i need to move my offset a bit closer can you see how the line is moving i'll move it a bit closer to where i know our skin is and it is well seated on the line now my highlight could come very close directly i, I always love my highlight being directly opposite where my offset is and then my mid tones of course it is going to move so close to this in between this red and yellow this shadow is what you need to be very very careful of whenever you are qualifying your skin so just move your shadow slightly and then so if i turn it off so we still need to work on this exactly so this is looking just like it so let's look at our before and after so just on one button so and preferably to see very well i usually would come to you know my power window and i will select the smallest part exactly so i can see what i am working on i will select the smallest part So I think it's 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 already fine. So I can turn this off, uh, change it back. Yeah. So now it is pretty. Just with these settings, let's see how we started. This is before, and this is after. So let's zoom in, and so we need to do a blend between this low range and then our high range. So now let me reduce this low range and let's see what happens. So the low range automatically brings the color in your offset on the video. It makes it really, really, really does enhance it, which means this particular red is just too much. It blends your offset and your shadows. So it is important for you to know that. So we will now slightly be bringing it back 
so that we can reduce the power and see how best both of them can blend and work together in harmony are you seeing any difference if you're not seeing it you might need to you know zoom in better or closely all right so i think this is getting good so now let's work with our low range as well too let's bring it all the way down okay so now let's slightly restore it now and see how best it looks can you see the difference it totally removes the color in the shadows fully exactly i think i'm um, in a way liking this blend so let's stay on so let's stay on 400 and let's see what 400 looks like all right so i feel this looks really good so we went from this to this so and if you feel like you still need to add more red you can just come to your low range and you know you reduce your low range a bit and something which is a cheat that i want to teach you now and you really want to ensure that your subject skin is very soft come to your primary color bars or you come back to your primary wheels and then you reduce your let me zoom it in so that we can really see what I'm about doing. So you are going to reduce your mid range. So reduce your median. The skin is going to get softer. Yeah, this is looking like it now. yeah so if you need to add more color don't make it too much just add like five percent of saturation just to it so we have gone from this before you can see that the skin is looking it has magenta a spill of magenta and then we have been able to you know get here just with one note so thank you if you love this tutorial and you would love to learn more from me ensure you subscribe to the youtube channel and if you are new i'm gd i'm a filmmaker based in lagos i help people to become a better filmmaker so if you love this please encourage the channel by subscribing to the youtube channel and i'm sure you give us a thumbs up this would help us to grow and help the channel as well to, to get more awareness ensure you drop a comment in the in the comment section if you love it thank you so much for watching this particular video I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.